right, everyone, welcome to Tactical Online Gaming. Folks, we're going to be playing the Crapola out of War Thunder today. We're going to be doing some bomb runs. I'm going to call it the Bomb Clinic, the Bomb Run Clinic. We're going to be playing the Havoc in Arcade and in Realistic Battle. Dibble, dibble, dibble. How's it going, my friend? And that's just the way the intro is. That's on purpose. No worries. How you doing, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. Been trying to game with you, but, uh, you know, you got the girlfriend. <laughs> hey, that's my boy. Yeah. Get it done, bro. Get it done. Take care of business. <laughs> Anyways, folks, this is Demons. I'm your boy. We're going to be playing some War Thunder. But uh, as you guys know, we always got the little commercial break. So let's get to business. Warning, if your stereo equipment isn't properly set up, you might be missing some of the benefits that stereo can provide. All right, everyone. Welcome to Tactical Online Gaming. This is where we bring the firefights, or in this case, the dogfights to you. We're gonna be playing a little bit of War Thunder, a free-to-play game. I'm gonna be playing Bomb Runs. We're gonna show you guys how I grind for Silver Lions, how I grind my planes, do my research, and how I just like to play when I play Bomb Runs. I like to maximize, I like to kill stuff with my front gunners. I like to kill stuff with my rear gunners. I like to kill stuff with my bombs. So here we go. folks we're back i'm gonna play a little war thunder i'm gonna play the crapola out of this havoc one of my favorite planes in the game i have more time in this plane than any other plane in war thunder um and that says a lot uh, i didn't realize it i kind of figured that that would be the case but i confirmed it the other way i have like over a thousand hours in this plane <laughs> i'm down with that bro let's uh dibble guy says all right but it's if it's the weekend bro we're gonna grind some planes broski yep sounds good to me man sounds really good to me 
I'm going to try to get myself into a battle here to just kind of warm up and see how well I can get it done. And this is realistic battle, so I will only have the Havoc. And it's just one life, one death, one round. That's it. Um, one of the cool things is, obviously, this plane does really well with head-ons. Um, and, it's, and it's exactly the truth in, in realistic battles. But the coolest thing is the gunners. Uh, if you jump into the gunner slot and you take over, you can take out the planes as they get close to you from behind. Really good stuff. I was going against some players that knew how to juke, and I was still popping them. And remember, in realistic battles, you just have to wound them. Because then they have to go and reload, I mean, a, a repair, right? And fix their plane. So you just have to take them out of the game. You don't have to kill them. You just have to debilitate them enough to get them out of your tail. So um, good stuff. Anyways, looks like this is our first uh, ground attack map, perhaps. And we'll see what we can do. But that's right, guys. Let's go. All right. So strategy number one, I'm just going to take this bad boy and head for the top. There's no reason why a plane should be catching the havoc. Uh, you already start above everybody else, and the power ratio on this plane, the engines on this plane, really help you climb and out climb a lot of different planes. So, uh, 109s can catch you, but it takes them a while to catch you. And by the time they're catching you, you just jump into your gunner position and just start popping them. So that's what we're gonna do today: is we're gonna pop people as we climb so let's get it going and let's go <laughs> all right let me just take a look at my map i'm gonna head off a little bit this way and then take a right into the base uh because i don't want to run into the enemy as well so i'm gonna just turn a little bit off to the left take my time and then when i get near that base i'll go ahead and take a turn and head to in towards the base and then just drop my bombs I don't have to dive in because I'm going to drop my bombs using my bomb sight. So I'm going to just stay as high as I can. If I see any enemy bombers, I'm going to intercept them if they're close enough and try to get a couple of pop shots on them. Maybe not go for the kill, but just try to debilitate them a little bit more. Maybe help, you know, take overheat an engine or do create an oil leak and uh, and go from there. So, all right, guys, let's head over to that base. And then we're going to turn back and land. But on our way back, we're going to try to intercept some bombers as well. So this is a pretty good fighter. Uh, not the best turn fighter. It's not a turn fighter at all. But I was throwing myself, I was throwing this plane at some fighter planes the other day. Um, I don't play this in realistic battles so much. And uh, in the last week on the down low, just by myself, I've been kind of experimenting what realistic battles would be like. And I absolutely love it. I'm kicking myself for not playing realistic sooner with this plane. It really is OP. And I'm just climbing some more. I'm going to try to get myself to about 6,000 meters above sea level. And by the time I get to 6,000, I'll be able to just make this turn and head in there. Oh, no, you're good, bro. Don't even worry about it, man. You got life. Stuff happens. There's times where I can't even play. So, no worries, bro. We'll get this done. We'll get this done. All right, let's take a look and see. Ah, the base is right there. So I'm going to zoom in with Z. Z zooms you in. And when I start getting close, I'm going to lower my speed. All right, lowering my speed. And in realistic, you have to remember, if you have a bomb bay, you have to open the bomb bay first. So the first time you hit spacebar, does not drop your bombs. It opens the bomb bay. And then we're going to get right over it, drop four bombs. One, two, three, four, bam. Give the command to tell everybody that you're returning base. And let's just head back. All right, we got some enemy planes in front of us now, finally. So let's try to see if we can pick one and go after him. Looks like we're going to have to get ourselves a little bit of this uh, MiG here that's coming by. There's another MiG off on its right. It's nine kilometers away. We're not going to pay attention to it so much until it gets closer. And it's going to get closer. Oh, it's coming closer fast. So, all right, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to oh, go full throttle again. Got the base damaged. 
Ooh, I got a yak right underneath me too. So we're, yeah, we're definitely gonna climb. Uh, here comes a Meg right on my tail, right in front of me. Let's see if I can get a piece of it for my head on. Oh, he chunked me. Oh, I got him. All right, I'm gonna die though because in realistic, you have an engine fire this bad, your wing's gonna fall off. So all I can do is try to minimize it. But I got myself a kill. I got myself some ground targets. It's major points. Major points. There goes my wing. It just broke off. All right, we're gonna J out and we're gonna get ourselves into a new round. That's all we can do. That MiG-3 has really nice guns. <laughs> But so did I. And I got him before he got me. Alright, so we'll leave this and go back in and try it again. Major points. And right now, so far I've just gotten six six hundred points, but when the game ends and all that, I'll get my I get more of my points as well. Uh so here we go. Let's get back into it and try to get into another little battle. Alright. attorneys you can contact oh cool i get to contact some attorneys i am making a business so i need uh i need to consult some attorneys for specific things so that i can ask and i don't make any business mistakes it's always good to try to stop problems before the before the, they're created so some of those things uh require the assistance of a lawyer I gotta hire a lawyer to get some of this stuff done. And looks like I have a new English student. I tutor English on the internet on my time off when I'm not gaming. And I've been tutoring quite a few students lately. So it's pretty good money. Don't have to leave the house during a pandemic. It's been working out well for me. So if anybody here is, uh, wanting to learn English and you're from another country go on to a website called preply go ahead and sign up and you can look for me on there and I'd be happy to give you English lessons all right so we're waiting to get into a battle why is it taking so long that's this is unusual it usually takes a little longer if I have to I'll just go to arcade and, and have some fun there too but broski. But broski. What's up, bro? What's going on? Oh, my day's going pretty good, man. No complaints. Feeling healthier than I have been in a while. So that's a good thing. Um, some sad news is the, uh, for some of those that know, I actually live in the Philippines, but I've been stuck here in, in America. Um, I have a home here too in America, but I actually live in the Philippines. And uh, I just found out some sad news that I will not be able to go to the Philippines this year because uh, Americans are not allowed to go into the country because of how bad COVID is. Um, there's a possibility it could change, but the last word is that do not plan a trip to the Philippines this year. So sadly, that's the way it's going to be. Um, so we're going to just be growing this channel some more <laughs> a whole lot more so we will see where we can reach within the next six months um, and go from there but uh my plans of going home and meeting my son for the first time have basically been put on hold and delayed unless something positive happens uh regarding covid um and it's there's a possibility it can happen because at least for for the united states our covid cases are going down finally and it's usually and it's a lot has to do a lot because of the uh, vaccine so the vaccinations have been helping, especially my state is one of the most heavily vaccinated states, and our cases of COVID went down dramatically. So it really helps if you folks are thinking about getting your vaccine or not getting the vaccine. All I can tell you is my mother, she's like a really old lady. She got her vaccine and went to Zumba on the same day. So if you're thinking, if you're a little scared of the vaccine, don't be a pansy. Don't let my mom show you up because she walked in brave and went right back and did her little Zumba exercises on both her injections. So 
Uh, and as far as vaccine, I'm clear. I'm ready to go to work. Um, so I do have some job opportunities coming up ahead for me. Uh, I am a teacher. <laughs> Maybe hard to believe, but I am a teacher. I'm also an engineer, a tech guru, and I'm a nonprofit consultant. So if you folks have a nonprofit, you guys need some help, want some help with some fundraising strategies and things like that, I'm definitely your man to ask. I'm happy to answer questions and things like that. So, uh, But in the meantime, I'm just going to be teaching some English online and trying to land that perfect job because I have about six months ahead of me of where I can literally work and save a ton of cash and uh, take a lot of money back to the Philippines. So, and that'll enable me to actually do my final plan, which is to live in the Philippines for at least a minimum of three years. But I want to be able to take enough money to where I can live comfortably, uh, not live as a rich man, but live as a, just a normal Filipino does, and be able to live there three years uh, without having to work because it's almost impossible to work in the Philippines without a work visa. And to get a work visa, you basically have to accept a job that pays you very low. The wages in the Philippines are not good. They are not. You can work your butt off and barely make uh, 600, 700 bucks a month. And, uh, and that's if you're lucky. That's actually, if you're lucky, you can get that type of a salary. So um, in the meantime, I'm just going to save my money, save all of it, and then go to the Philippines where I don't have to worry about any anything oh i missed this target all right let's do it let's do it a different way we are in realistic right yeah we're in realistic I had, to, had to double check let me see if i can just drop bombs on this one right here so yeah my vaccine is good um i had some long COVID symptoms you guys have been following around i had COVID for a long time and i had some lingering symptoms and ever since i got the COVID vaccine they all went away all of them every single symptom that I had went away uh, from the after effects of COVID by simply taking the vaccine so there are some extra benefits I believe and from what I've some of the studies that I've read um, there are some extra benefits to COVID to the COVID vaccine I don't want to say that word anymore but in case I get the uh, this the stream turned off by the evil forces of YouTube that don't want to let people have a normal conversation. So I'm going to shut up about the Vidco. <laughs> about the Vidco. I, I overshot these bases. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to fly out to get some clearance. And then I'll turn around and I should be able to drop them. Uh, here comes another MIG. Those MIGs are dangerous, man. They hurt. That last MIG really punished me well. All right, let's go ahead and turn. Let's kill my speed down to 14% throttle. And that should give me a nice little buffer to just drop the bomb right here. Alright, let's go ahead and go back up to 50. Okay, I'll be able to drop this bomb now. Oh, that base disappeared. Oh my god. These bases are getting taken out one by one. Alright, I'll tell you what. Just so we don't mess around, let's go ahead for a dive. And then we'll try to go under the deck to get to our base to reload. So I think I'm going to drop these bombs right here. I think they're going to hit. So there we go. I've dropped them. And let's go take out this H12-112. We'll dive down on him. And see if we can swoop a piece of him without breaking a wing. I'm going to break a wing. Oh, i got to get myself up. 640 is too fast, too fast. All right, here comes a, a yak. You're going to get a piece of this yak. Let's see. Uh, he knew. He knew to keep diving. All right, if he gets on my tail, I'm going to jump in as, on a gun, as a gunner. All right, so he's positioning himself there. All right, so we're, let's go help our buddy. He's going after the SPD. Let's go see if we can get a piece of him. Got a piece of them. That one crashed. 
you got a piece of my engine but I'm not I'm not losing my engine just yet I do have to watch my uh, my throttle now so that I don't overheat him yeah he got me he's firing the um, stealth uh, the stealth rounds so he couldn't see his uh, tracers coming at me nice work though on his part all right let's go do some arcade so we can just jump plane to plane to plane all right let's go ahead and do it. oh no no cancel all right let's go arcade got me some water I want some of these ground targets where you do just a ton of ground targets so we can just keep dropping them non-stop. I have a good little loadout of, of bomber planes here. There's a bomber, this is a bomber, this is a bomber, this is a bomber, and this is a bomber. At least they carry bombs. The wear away isn't much of a bomber, but it's like an attack fighter. And it drops uh, two 250s and two 500 pound bombs and it's a 1.3 tier. So that bomb loadout is actually pretty amazing for a 1.3 tier plane, right? All right, I'm sure you folks agree. Quite a loadout. Just carrying two 500 pound bombs would have been amazing for a 1.3 tier plane. But carrying two 500s and two 250s really makes it an uber, uber loadout for the tier. And it's one of the most maneuverable planes. It will turn fight just about any plane out there. It really can handle a turn fight uh, really well. So again, we're going to head on out towards the left. Then we're going to take a right turn and we're going to go from left to right. It's basically sweeping and clearing all these ground targets. So. All right. Oh, the action is far away from me, so I am pretty sure I'm going to be in uninterrupted until I take it to the deck. When I fly these uh, ground pounding maps, I like to fly down low to the ground. That ensures that your bombs have the best splash on the target because you're able to drop them more precisely. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna start dropping down on these targets. And as soon as I drop down, you guys gonna see a second cluster of uh, vehicles pop right behind them. There they are, see they just pop right behind them. So we're gonna drop two and one. Two on this group, one, and then we're going to drop one into this middle group and that will take care of just about everything. And then we're going to drop a third one, about our last bomb right here. Oh, look at major targets. Major targets. We got 19 targets destroyed with four bombs. Now I got some bad guys. Let me call for help. Yeah, you like that, huh? You like that? That's why I was trying to get you to get this Havoc. It's really amazing. So we're about to finish reloading. And we're going to work on... Let me call for help a little bit. And we're going to work on getting some of these guys... Some of these ground targets taken care of here. With my guns. Alright, let's go back to dropping bombs. Here's a nice big cluster. Boom, we're on it. Here's another cluster right here. This one gets two, one, and two. We got one more bomb left. I'm trying to kind of shake and bake. Pumping up and down, trying to minimize uh, the, uh, the plane that's behind me that's just unloading nonstop. So we're gonna drop it on these guys right here. This should be another group of six. The survivability of this plane is really amazing. Okay, we didn't get so many there. But we're at 37 kills. <laughs> 37 ground kills with two reloads. Or with one reload. So oh, let's get a piece of this guy. Alright. We got 18 seconds to reload. Let's find some ground targets. Let's go after these guys real quick. Boom, we got a kill, air kill. We're going for we're going for first place here, I guess. Uh, I missed that badly. That's right, I got one second to reload. 
Got another little cluster coming in. They're finally starting to chunk out my plane. I'm starting to have a little bit of engine trouble on both engines, but that's okay. We're still gonna go strong. One, two. <laughs> it is OP, bro. All right, look, we got seven more targets. We're at 45 targets taken out. I'm the only one that's winning and <laughs> carrying this team. I got two bombs. We're gonna go after this nice cluster right here. And we're just pumping because I know there's somebody behind me. My gunner's active. One. Two. That should be a pretty good drop. Oh, the first one didn't do well. The second one splashed really nice. All right, let's go after some of these ground targets with our guns. And let's let our gunner keep doing his thing. Ground targets taken out. I'm gonna head towards some friendlies because I think I'm gonna be in trouble if I keep getting hit like that. Let's see if we can get this Stuka taken out. Alright, bombs reloaded. Let's go back up to these ground targets. Let's clean up shop. All the clusters are pretty much gone. So we're just gonna try to, we got 12 more targets we gotta take out. I'm going for guns. Okay, just dropped another one right there, a little bomb. Plane is still on my butt, so I gotta keep going forward. We're doing it, we're getting there. <laughs> this thing is a beast, brother. It's my favorite, my favorite plane. I mean, I'm beat up and I'm still going. You know what I mean? It just takes damage like, like no other plane. I'm gonna die soon, though. I, I will be dying soon, but let's try to get one more. Alright, lost an engine and I got big engine fire. There I go, I'm going down finally. No worries, no worries. Let's go clean up shop. <laughs> this is what we call the bomb clinic. Alright, let's jump into the Avenger. It also drops four or five hundred pound bombs. Uh, another nice plane, but this one doesn't take the beatings that the Havoc does. You can shoot these, um, this uh, Avenger really easy all right does it have a bomb site it does have a bomb site so that's one of the cool things is you can fly this like a true bomber from the air really high up if you need to so, oh, they got two ground targets there oh man even after all of my efforts I got 58 ground targets <laughs> and we're still gonna lose no! <laughs> I can't handle it. All right. Well, let's get at least a couple more taken out. We got four more, so let's see if I can get these targets here taken out here. They got us. They, they beat us. All right, but I know I got the uh, the thunder. I got the most ground kills. I got sixty three ground kills. <laughs> this is what we call the bomb clinic, folks. Yeah, I got three assists, one kill, sixty three ground targets. Now they beat us because they had four or five people all dedicated to bombing as well, right? They had you got a 15 or a 14 or a 24 or 27. This combined effort beat my solo effort because I literally had one other guy, two other guys trying a little bit, um, but you can't do it. It takes teamwork. So let's get back into it and try it again. See what kind of map I get. 
I just don't want a domination map because then that's useless for bombers. <laughs> that's how you take out ground targets in this game. All right, this one's not so bad. This one's got some water targets. It's got some ground targets driving around, flying. All right. We can do this. No Coca-Cola today. I, I got to avoid the Coca-Colas. They're bad for me. Really bad. Do I have a bomb site? I do have on this. Right, so we're gonna go and try to get these ground targets. Coca Cola is bad because it's sugar. Sugar is bad for your body, bro. Sugar gives you diabetes. It uh, makes your body. It's like uh, it's like running an engine on high octane all the time at, at full speed. It just it's just not good for you. So avoiding sugar is the best way to live your life healthy um, and cutting down in your salt intake. If you can just reduce those two, you can pretty much eat what you want um, and as much as you want. Just the sugar is what makes you fat and the, the salt is what makes the sugar worse. Like a one-two combo. Alright, dropping these bombs. See how many of those hit. We're gonna start taking these guys out with our guns. Oh, all right, I'll take it. Those are some good hits. I don't have any planes around me, I think. All right, good. We're gonna be loading in 18 seconds, so let's go on back and just go for another ground attack. And try to get as many of these ground targets as we can. The closer to oh, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, that was close. That was really close. close it was too close man I don't want to be that close I wasn't doing that on purpose we got that whole section taken out I got two more bombs they should be right over here on the where are they come on where'd you go yeah here they are oh, get a line up better let's go here and let's go here Yeah, these guns are really good too, because you get four of the you get four of the guns. So they're pretty good. I'm just not the best shot. I'm trying to lead them a little bit more. Alright, let's go after that bomber. Without him thinking that we're gonna go after him. I don't think he knows I'm coming. But I'm gonna try to get a piece of him right now. Alright, let me just drop these bombs so I can... I just dropped them there so that I can catch up to this uh, SM-78. Oh, and he's climbing, so he's losing airspeed. And I'm just attacking him, so I'm basically going to be a sitting duck for a little bit. Bam! Game over! This plane is really OP. It really is. Alright, let's head back and drop more bombs. And because all these fighters are getting close, I'm going to start climbing so I can outclimb them for now. But let's get a piece of this guy if we can't actually scratch that. Because he's close. He's on fire. Oh! Friendly smacked into him. Let 
another sitting duck. He's just sitting there climbing. Going for bombs. Let our gunners take care of the rest. The gunners just hitting them right now. Dropping that bomb. Dropping that bomb. I just dropped the other two that I had because now I'm going to work my way at getting to the ocean where I know where more of those uh, boats are. Because all the bad guys are behind me. I don't want to be where the bad guys are. I want to be where they're not. <laughs> so I'm basically just trying to get my butt out of here. Oh, there's an enemy base. So I got to juke it. It's going to take me out if I'm not careful. Uh-oh. Uh I just hit a hortense nest. They're going to come after me, guys. They're going to come after me. Here they come. Alright, let's pump up and down to avoid getting shot. Because remember, we can take quite a bit of hits. And my gunner's already getting some good hits right there. Somebody cover me. And let's try to get a couple more chunks of these big bombs taken out of here. This is how you fly defensively. Drop one, drop one, drop one, drop one. They might be, hopefully I got them all. Let's see, I got two. Uh-oh, I didn't get them all. Dang it. Guess what? We're going to have to turn around and get them. Oh, they stopped chasing me. Oh, that's their mistake. Now I can try to get a piece of them. For the last guy, no, I'm, I was gonna go for the boat, but we're gonna go for the, we're gonna go for the plane. Oh, we got him! All right, let's try to get a piece of some of these guys before we die. Oh, there we go! I died. My plane just busted up. <laughs> Three kills. 16 ground targets uh, plus six more boat targets and one assist. Not bad for one run for one plane, right? Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. It's pretty good. This guy did pretty good here on this side. Wow. All right, let's go for the Avenger. Uh, let's do a little turn fighting. We'll do we'll do the whirlway. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get. There's one more ground target left. Where is it? Whoever gets it is the winner. Uh, we got it. We got it. We won. Right on. Very nice. I think we made pretty good in Silver Lions research points. We did pretty good there. Look at that. At a low tier in arcade. Non-stop bombing. All right, let's get back into it again. All right, go back into the Havoc. Let's cancel that and let's go for... Armored targets. I'm going to shoot stealth bullets so that they don't know I'm firing at them. Kind of like what that yak did to me. Because if I, did, I didn't know, if I knew he was firing at me, I would have tried to mitigate it. I would have tried to juke a little bit, but I didn't think he was firing at me until I realized he was firing at me. 
Yeah, it's a lot better, bro. I, I do need to stream with my cam on more. Because, you know, sometimes I just don't like to. Um, not that I don't like to, but just I just don't. But, yeah, I guess I do need to um, do it more with the cam. And, you know, so should you. So should you at some point. Maybe you can't just yet because, you know, the parental units don't allow for it. But, you know, when they do. Or when you can convince them that your growth in your channel goes a long way when you show the face then uh, you could be good to go All right. so I am uncontested nobody's coming near me right now and we're gonna go after this base and drop it from the top from the air so let me just um, yeah you can't because your parents don't want it Yeah, no, I, I know. That's the way it usually works. But uh, at some point, they might see the value to it. Maybe you can make the case. You can give your dad, like, a business report. And your dad will appreciate a business report. You go, Dad, you know, out of 100 people that stream and uh, with cams and 100 people that don't stream with cams, this is the statistics of the people that get, you know, more views and more subs and more likes. You know, you can give him, like, a report that your dad would appreciate. You know what I mean? Not just going, hey, dad, can I stream? Why not, dad? Can I stream with my cam? No. Why not, dad? Please, please. It doesn't do anything, right? It doesn't, it doesn't help him. Instead, if you go, well, look, dad, you know I want to grow my channel. You know I want to do this. You know I want to do that. So, and this is why I think you should let me. The numbers here don't lie. Bum, 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 and... You know, then you can look up statistics of, of, you know, how many people get in trouble for showing their face or what happens to people that show their face. You can give them examples of three uh, streamers, not just one, but three streamers that are your age that are successfully streaming online and growing their channels and all that stuff. And give it to them like a case, you know, say, Dad, I'd like to sit down. And, and uh, you know, you know, I want to kind of stream with my cam and... I think I can I think I have a good reason as to why. And you approach it in the way your dad thinks, which is business. Then your dad might go, huh. just for the fact that you put that you looked into it and presented to it in a way that he could respect, might be enough for him to go, okay, let's try. You never know. I'm not saying it's gonna work, but you gotta be parental with your parents. You know what I mean? You kind of have to understand how your parents think and what they, what you know, what they're trying to do, and then try to use that to create your arguments and to create your, you know, your case. Just like you do. Why do you, you want this game? I want this game. Blah blah blah. It, it just becomes a kid thing, right? Dad, but I want it. No, I want it. Dad, I'm not doing my homework. And then all of a sudden, you're the bad kid. You don't want to do that. You want to go, Dad, I need to be streamed with my cam because check out these three top players and they're doing this. And look what the statistics say and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, go from there. Real metrics. Business numbers. All right, there's an 820 right below me that's going to drop it on that bomb. So I'm not dropping it yet. I'm going to wait to see what he does. All right, he dropped it. All right, I'm going to drop all four there. I'm still... Really high above everybody else. Let me dive in on this BN, uh, B5N2. Let me just dive in on it. It's, it's close enough. And I'm pretty protected. So I'm just going to boom and zoom them. And I'm going to boom under him. Look at my speed, 600. There's no way I could have handled this speed in, uh, in arcade or in realistic. No way. Name on him. Go. Oh, ran out of bullets. That's what the gunner's for. Oh, they took him out. Oh, there's another one right here all right let me drop these bombs so that they don't get in my way 
go boom and zoom this guy too. Oh, no, no, let's go after the B-34. We got all the speed to catch up to him right there. We can let that guy dive down after that little guy right there. We'll catch this guy. He's more dangerous. I'm just trying to talk out loud the way I think when I game. So maybe you guys can learn a little bit of these things too. My thought process. So I'm going out of my way to talk out loud non-stop to myself like I'm, I'm some kind of weirdo for your benefit so you guys can see what how I think when it's bombing time and stuff like that. All right. So we're catching up to him. His gunner's already active, which means he is running his gunner right now. And we're just getting under him. So we get to about point eight. And then we're going to go right up into his belly, cutting him with my bullets. Point eight. There we go. Let's drop these bombs too. Oh, no, I can't. And if I drop them right now, they're going to land on my friend in the base. So we can't do that. But he's running away. Okay, I just dropped him there so that I can be more nimble. So what he did was he dropped way low and he compromised himself because he should have stayed up and fought me up there. But instead he took himself down over the base where he's got the AA going after him, me going after him, and then that friendly Spitfire went after him until they killed him. I'm not sure that's what he should have done. He should have just turn fought me. He was more maneuverable than I am. So now I'm going to head back to those friendly, those enemy bases and going to drop some more bombs. And I'm climbing back again. I'm going to be above everybody else one more time. So let me drop these bombs here. Don't need them. In arcade, uh, I just drop keep my bombs out of the plane so that I could just be f not so fat. You're more maneuverable, more agile, when you don't have your bomb load. And I have a really quick uh, bomb reload time. It's like 45 seconds, which is really quick in this game. Just like my guns reload in about eight seconds. Let me see what they reload. I'm gonna empty my bullets out real quick. Nobody's near me, so. Okay, eight, yeah, I got an eight second reload time on my machine gun, so that's really, really good. All right, last base is taken out. We're gonna go after this one. Game over, I think. Yeah, game over. All right. So that was a nice little different. The way it worked out was a little different for me for this round. And uh, I've won 4,000 missions in this War Thunder. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of gameplay. <laughs> This game has been around for years, guys. I started playing this game when it first came out over eight years ago. I'm not a loser when I play this game nonstop. I'm not one of those guys. But I play it consistently and regularly. There's been times where I've stopped playing for a whole year, maybe even longer, especially when I went to the Philippines. I was out of the country for over a year. So I didn't touch this game for well over a year. But, you know, when I come back, I play these games. I might play five, ten rounds a day. And it adds up. And this says I've won 4,000. doesn't say I've played a total of 4,000 games. So imagine all the games that I've lost. <laughs> you add up to this. Maybe it's uh, nine, ten thousand. 10,000. You never know, right? I, might have, I don't know if I've won more games than I've lost more games. But, um... This number is kind of <laughs> wild. <laughs> uh, I haven't tried it, bro. Have you? Have you tried Destiny 2? That's another game I'm going to be trying because I found it on Steam and it's free to play. So I'll be playing that shortly, one of these days. Maybe I'll just wait for you jump to jump on and we can try it out and learn how to play it together.
if you've tried it that's cool too no bro okay cool yeah i haven't even touched it in fact i think i uninstalled it because i wanted to install another big game and i shouldn't have but i can reinstall it real quick so um, before the weekend comes i'll make sure i have it installed yeah yeah have you seen any of the gameplay or any of that stuff have you seen any of the YouTubes on it? I mean, I, I saw a little bit of it. It looked pretty cool. It looked like it was worth trying. I mean, it, and the game has gotten really good reviews, and it's been a popular game for a long time. So, um, yeah. Got a little itch in my back. Uh, all gamers should have a little scratch stick. All of them. You never know, right? Yeah, right on. Cool, you're gonna blind it. Sounds good, man. You have a blind it. I've I haven't touched the game. I haven't I loaded it up, but I never clicked play or, or anything like that. And I don't believe it had a cut screen to it. So alright, this is, is a uh, ground strike. But there's gonna be bases to attack here too, right? Where the base is gonna be popping up soon. Let me just climb up for now. We're going to outclimb everybody. Here they come, right there. So, my group of guys headed for their group of guys. I'm headed around them. And above them. You guys look at my intricated airspeed, how fast I'm going. I'm going to turn my flaps on. Because flaps give you more lift. So you're able to keep flying at a slower speed. So as you start getting low, get your flaps up there and you can still keep climbing up without stalling. Right now, I've, I've killed them. And look what happens when you just keep climbing with your flaps off or in the uh, you know normal position and you start losing speed, your plane starts diving down, right? Because it, it stops flying. It's literally getting ready to drop down like a rock. It's called stalling when you stop flying and you are no longer doing anything what happens you just rock oh my bad bro my bad let me uh, take care of that real quick there we go there now you can see my speed so i'm just gonna keep her climbing again There's some planes coming at me i gotta i'm gonna go after this guy Go after this guy too. Got a piece of him. Now we're just gonna climb straight up. Cause I've got the speed to do it. And these guys don't. I can keep going on and on and on. And if I have to, I'll turn my flaps on, which keeps me climbing straight up. Flaps are on. It stops me from stalling as bad. Okay, let's raise the flaps and let's do it. Let's do a turn onto them. This is going to be close. Got one of my engines. So let's try to see if we can just drop some of these bombs right now so that we stay bomber relevant. Maybe a bomb target right underneath me. I'm just going to wait to be. That's about right. Drop two right there. Let's just drop down after these guys below us. Ah, here are the bomb targets. Dropping one right there. And one right about there. He's 
peppering me. Oh, nice work. Uh, another one got me though from the front. All right, let's do the Avenger. Actually, let's do some turn fighting. We'll jump into the wheel way. And let's go after these guys over here. We'll drop these bombs so we can stay light. Thanks for stopping by, Dibble Guy. We will see you shortly on the next one. Thanks for watching my stream, my friend. Oh my god, 4,000 games won. That's pretty cool. That was a nice award to see. Alright, let's jump on these guys right here. These are the bombers. The H112 is in a bomber. He's a fighter. Flaps off, flaps on, flaps off. Flaps on, flaps off. Killing my engines to stay on them. Trying to get behind me, but you're not, my friend. I just got behind you. And you died. <laughs> Trying to get behind me instead of mitigating and going after somebody else. And that's why I see a red pip, is because of the ground target right here. Let's just drop these bombs that I just reloaded. Right there. Out turning me by a lot. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Get him off of my tail. Good stuff. Another one coming. Another one too. He's coming hard. Ah, uh, we smacked each other. I knew that was gonna happen. Ow! That really hurts.
Gotta admit that really hurts. Alright, let's do the Avenger. We've lost. Victory will be ours. <laughs> Good games, folks. Good games. Couple more rounds. Let me try realistic. Match of realistic here. You take my meds. About that time. There we go. Go that tumbal in the Philippines. It is taking a little longer to get into these matches. This is the second time today. Taking over 30 seconds to get into the realistic. Something's going on with their matching. There's 50 players in today. We should have just bounced in real quickly. That's two. Basically, that's two. That's two or three um, players worth of two or three rounds worth of players there with 42 so weird they just put just took eight out something's going on duly and duty something's going on with the matchmaker yeah we're down to 20 and now we finally got him okay fine we'll take it we will take it. Realistic. Ground targets. Operation counteroffensive. No respawn. Realistic battle operation. There's got to be some bases to take out on this one as well. Let me take care of the statistics. There's going to be 20 players. All right, let's go. Yeah, bases. Attention to the designated grid zone. Tell you what, let's get there faster today. We're gonna take this nice we're gonna take this havoc down to the ground. We're gonna do things um, and get there really quickly. Not that far from here. I can just bomb and get out and try to stick to the deck. Let me pull up before I break a wing. Almost we're gonna break something. Go ahead and slow down. All right, let's go ahead and increase that speed. I'm trying to maximize my speed while I get there. So I'm trying to stay a little bit over 600 without pushing that red when it gets into the red, because that's when you start breaking stuff. Stuff will just start falling off. So we're just gonna get to the deck really low. Oh, and we're just gonna fly it first person right on the deck. Now we're at maximum speed, and you can see we're slowly starting to bleed our speed off as well. But we're getting there quick, right? Very quick. Just trying to watch it on the map so that I can start pulling up. I'm going to pull up a little bit when I get really close. We've got some plane, enemy planes over on that side. Well, they don't see me yet, I hope. Take a glow to the deck. Alright, base is coming up. Let's go into third person. Open that bomb bay. Set up for the attack. 
angled in. One, two, three, and four. We're going to get some of these ground targets on our way home. Realistic, you don't get one set of bombs and you gotta go home to reload. No choice. Everybody's here. We're gonna go this way. Being close to the deck and hopefully they don't see us. Follow this little river here. I see that MIG on my right getting closer. It might be headed towards me. Oh, it's down. It was running from somebody. Base destroyed. Somebody got a piece of it. That's good. We've already lost four planes, five, six planes. I'm gonna turn left soon. Go land. Welcome to the stream, folks. Please give us a like, follow, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you're watching us on uh, YouTube. I am streaming on YouTube and on Twitch right now. until I get formalized by one of them and one of them picks me and decides to say please please stream with us only when they offer that partnership then we shall commit to them All right, let's go ahead and kill our airspeed we're gonna be landing any minute now there's the airbase I need to bleed a lot of speed really quickly landing gear will do it flare flaps will also do it and killing my throttle but I'm gonna try to keep it at 250 until I touch down or 220 is good actually so for another little push of the throttle and that should take me to a nice little That was almost too hard. There we go. We're landing on this little dirt runway. That's cool, the smoke, that the, the dust that it kicks up. All right. Reloading in 10 seconds more. Repairing, reloading, the whole works. Where's my flaps? Rearmed, refueled, repaired. Takeoff flaps. Takeoff flaps enable you to take off at a slower speed. You have a short runway. You should be. Ta you should always be taken off with flaps. I mean, I mean that's the the protocol. But if you have a short runway, you should definitely be on flaps. All right, gotta get these uh, this gear up, and we're gonna go right into the base again. I'm gonna sneak in low.
low and under the deck. comes an I-16 I might have to I might have to fight I'm gonna have to fight yeah I'm fighting no choice hey hey got him I'll take it here comes a MiG right after me now. And we'll see what he does. If he comes after me, I'm gonna have to turn towards him. He's coming in hard. Oh no, he's shooting. He's busy shooting those planes. So let's let. You know what? No, I was gonna attack him. I can't climb up to him to his level. Let's see if he just. I might have made a mistake though and alerted him towards me. Another plane right there, right underneath me, right above me. Hey, he's probably definitely going to come try to get a piece, but I'm low, so he's going to have to watch his dive. He might not be able to pull out of his dive if he's if he does it the wrong way. And he's overshooting me too. I don't know what these guys are not looking around, obviously. I mean, there's a benefit to staying under the deck, you know, as low as you can on the deck. Um, and apparently I've used that benefit really well because they weren't able to see me. They should have come after me, but they didn't. So it is what it is. We're getting really close to this base now. We're going to be opening up on it. And it looks like we've got another something right above. I'm not sure what that F-22 is. Some kind of bomber. That's cool. Okay, let's open our bomb bay. Turn up a little bit. Bomb. Oh, he took it out. So what I'm going to do is head over to these ground targets. We'll drop in there. that bad boy.
almost smacked myself into the ground there. So be careful. Flying low at the deck like this. Got good engine performance. I'm going to start killing my... Last ground target for this section here. Trying to lose bullets, so we run out of bullets. Guess I need to fight on my way back. See any enemies? Head to the base. Returning to the base. Let me kill my uh let me reduce my throttle. Everything's overheating. Because I've been on WEP the whole time. WEP stands for war emergency power. When you need it, you got a little more oomph from the engine in case you need it. It's available for you. Trying to find the runway. It'll be right about there. Actually, it's right there. I see it now. Get a lot of airspeed. Flaps, gear. That throttle decrease is making my oil pressure go down as well as my engine overheating, which is good. We've arrived. We've landed.
Well, I guess it's up to me now. It's up to me to do this. The only thing I can think of is to just climb as high as I can and hope that those planes are not anywhere near me. Oh, there's the yak. There's the yak. Alright, so we're going to drop these on those ground targets while the yak tries to get us. There he is. Make three also on my tail. Oh, this might not end well for me. I do have a gunner I can go to though. And the gunner on this plane is quite powerful. So if he starts trying something, and he will, I'm going to have to go in on him. So close, so close, so close. Not bad run though. That was a really, really, really good run. Really exciting run. Game's about to end. We'll just wait and see what uh, kind of points we got. Really appreciate you folks sticking with the uh, stream here. Yeah, see, that was pretty fruitful. That was a really nice run. Independent 10%. All right. All right, folks. It's time for me to have a little lunch here. So I will talk to you guys later. I really appreciate you. Please give us a like, subscribe, follow, and hit that bell notification if you enjoyed the gameplay. If you enjoyed our topics for the day. And uh, we will talk to you guys on the next one. All right, guys. Take it easy. And... Uh, be well.